guys today i'm doing hollywood exes sorry about the light um hollywood exes season three episode i think this is three i'm not going through the whole thing because it's only two basic things that i want to talk about through this whole episode that pissed me off the first one was um drea's party she had a birthday party she invited everybody um and Okay, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I don't think I'm going to like Cherie. I think she messiest shit. So, I'm not going to like her. Um, She pumped, to me, she pumped Tony up to go say something to Brian. That wasn't the time or the place to say something to Brian. Um, Prior to the party, they were shopping, I believe. And they asked her, did she have a prenup? She said no. She didn't have a prenup. They was tripping about her not having a prenup. But she felt like... It's her business, that's on her. So, I was with her. Like, hey, if we don't all agree with you marrying him, that's your decision, that's your mistake to make, whatever. Everybody know that they got divorced already, whatever. But we we gonna act like they ain't got divorced yet. We gonna act like they still engaged, still working this shit, marriage, wedding shit out. So, they, um, they talked to her about that. She She shut them down. Back, uh, forward to the party. Cherie pumps Brian, uh, I mean, Tony up because Brian didn't have on a 70s outfit, um, for her party because her theme was like 70s or whatever and Brian didn't have it on. Everybody else was dressed. So, Cherie felt some kind of way. Well, they all kind of felt some kind of way, but Drea. Drea didn't feel some kind of way. So, I felt like, why is it any of y'all business if she have a prenup? Or if she, if he dressed up for a party. If his girl ain't tripping, back the fuck up. That's really how I felt on that one. And that's how I feel in life. Like, okay, I can understand you be a person friend. You looking out for their best interest. But if they tell you that they cool and, you know, they grown and they can make their decisions, back the fuck up and let them make their fucking mistakes. They have to. Grown people have to learn their mistakes. If they don't learn their mistakes, how the fuck would they grow up? I just don't get it. Um, so, Brian pulls, uh, no, Tony pulls Brian to the side and wants to talk to him about him not dressing up or whatever. To my like your true religions. I like this. Brian, like, yeah, thanks, dude. So, he was like, something about his outfit. He like, if I would have got a 70s outfit, I wouldn't have been able to get her her gift. But I'm like, that's bullshit. That's, that's, that's a lie in the cell, Brian. You shouldn't even use that excuse. Because a 70s outfit is only going to cost you 40, 50 bucks. Shut up. How much money you got? Are you living up hurt? I don't know. Just kind of irritated me. But, um, yeah. So, they going back and forth or whatever. She come over there and... Put, they put her in the middle of the bullshit because Tony said he's going to be standing up at the wedding. It's going to be Brian on one side. It's going to be Tony on the other side. I said, are you fucking kidding me? You are going a little bit too far, Tony. I'm sorry. I understand that's your girl. That's your boo. But you're going a little too fucking far. She's getting married. What the hell? Like I said, y'all can like it. Y'all don't have to like it. Y'all don't have to deal with it. This is her wedding. Like, come on. Um... So, the party going on or whatever, and Tony is over there talking about, this my bitch, this my bitch, even though I understood that he did not mean it in a malicious, disrespectful way, but as a man, I understand Brian's frustration and why he was going off. Brian just flipped the fuck out. Brian flipped out. First, he was calm, and that would have, that, 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 that would have been me. I'm calm, let you say what you gotta say, but... You say the wrong thing and all hell might break loose. So, yeah. So, Brian went off and he had every fucking right. Even Drea at that party had every right to go off on them and tell them if they don't support her, don't come to the fucking wedding. I understand y'all love her. Y'all looking for her best interest like I keep on saying. But, I'm with Drea on that. If you don't support her, don't fucking come. Simple as that. Simple as fucking that. Um, moving on from that, because they end up going to the bridal shop, the flower shop, whatever, her and Tony, and they end up talking about it, and 
they work that shit out. But he still don't like motherfucking uh Brian. Brian bought her a Benz and some red bottoms for her birthday. And he he was a little suspect to me because he wanted her to open that gift so bad in front of them people. And I was like, why? Is it for show? Because even she was like, we could do this at home. And he steady was like, let's do it here. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, this was for show for Brian. Um, Moving on. Goddamn Jessica. I hope this was her last episode. I hope this was her last show. I hope she got fired. That bitch is so prejudiced. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Nobody. That bitch can't even... I think she was only on here so she can get on the show. But bitch, them words, them text messages that you sent, and it was proof that you sent those messages to Shayna, you're a racist bitch. That bitch said black girls and white girls don't mix. And I'm like, bitch, how many seasons you been on here fucking with black girls? And all of a sudden you feel like black girls don't mix? You fucking a black dude? No, you bitch. I don't care if she fucking a black dude. She can still be racist and fuck a black dude. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Mm-mm. No way, Jose. Mm-mm. She could be talking about him behind our back. I don't know. But that bitch rubbed me the wrong way. She rubbed everybody the wrong way. And the whole time I kept saying, ooh. Oh, Dre and them is going to go off when they see this damn text message. Because that bitch was wrong. And Shayna kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Because I feel like, okay, they got... Shayna, they was throwing cake at each other at the party. Shayna tried to throw cake on um, Jessica. Jessica got upset, hit her hand, and started going off like, Bitch, don't play with me like that. I get it. Because I'm not with that cake playing throwing shit either. Um, But Shayna took it as... Oh, that bitch hit me hard, and she wasn't playing that, but hell, bitch, you tried to throw cake on her, what the hell? So, Shayna goes and tells, she invites the girls to her house, and she tells them that, what happened, or whatever. And then the bitch gonna say, well, since she gonna be fake, I'm gonna show y'all text messages. I don't like bitches like that. Because you get upset with me, and you haven't talked to me about what happened at the party, but you get upset with me, and then you go show text messages that me and you were conversing through, and I'm sitting there like, why y'all not showing her text messages? What does she say back? I don't know. I just don't put it on one person. That bitch probably had her little choice words too. Might not been racist words, but it's been choice, probably choice words back and forth on that text message. I don't just, I'm sorry. I don't just say Jessica was the only one in that text message, text message talking shit. I really don't. Because y'all know that they, uh, Shayna have, she kind of, Feel some kind of way about Drea and that and the um wedding shits too. So no telling what she had to say. No telling what she had to say. But like I said, I this wasn't a full review. I just had some third certain things to say. I'm in the process of moving right now, so um that's why it wasn't up last night. That's why my rant wasn't up. But I will have my rant up before this week is over. I will have that up. Um I probably will have try to have that up tonight. Um so like I said, I'm in the process of moving. I'm, like, at a hotel right now because they didn't have my house, my uh, place ready yesterday. So, shit. So, I'm just letting y'all know. Showing y'all the whole, y'all y'all know them damn hotel pictures. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, I just want to, I, I, you know me, I'm loyal to my subscribers. So, I try to get a video out as soon as possible. So, yeah, talk to me, and I'll talk to you back. This is my review for um, Hollywood Exit Season 3. I think it's Episode 3 or 4. I don't know. I got to look in the It'll be in the description. Um, but talk to me, and I'll talk to you back. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto, B-T-H-A, not T-H-E. Follow my girl, Ashley Miller, Mike B, Tasha C, some more love. All of us do great reviews, and we all talk to you back if... I would not mention nobody if they wouldn't talk back. So, um, yeah, we all talk to you guys back. We all interact with our subscribers. So, make sure you share our videos, like our videos, and talk to us. Alright, peace.